What's up, you chubby little bastards? It's plus size review time. Ghost white chocolate peppermint bark and snickerdoodle flavored whey protein. Yes, do not adjust your sets. This is a whey protein powder review because despite what you might want to believe, I do exercise from time to time and care about my fitness. I know some of you guys out there do as well. So let's get to it. I've mixed up a serving. Uh, in each of these shakers, and now I have no idea which one's which. I'm colorblind, but I think this is Snickerdoodle, and this is white chocolate peppermint bark. I think I'm gonna go with the crazier of the two flavors, a little bit more adventurous, the white chocolate peppermint bark. For those of you um, unfamiliar with Ghost Protein, I've reviewed a couple of their flavors in the past. I've had their cereal milk, peanut butter cereal milk, and their blueberry toaster pastry, and I'm a big fan of all of them. Now, you might remember the last time I reviewed them, I gave the blueberry toaster pastry kind of a low score. Well, funny story, that one grew on me like a wart, and it is now my favorite flavor easily from Ghost. And I've, I've bought it many times since. With that said, I could see this flavor going that way, or going the complete opposite way. I do have to give Ghost credit. White chocolate peppermint bark is a very adventurous, out there flavor when it comes to a protein powder. So, one and a half grams of fat, three carbs, 25 grams of protein, 130 calories per scoop. Down the hatch it goes. Let's see how it tastes. You guys did it. You did it. I was worried it smelled very minty before I mixed it in. Ooh, there's a very fresh aftertaste. My breath, mm, smelling nice now. It smelled very minty. So I was worried it would have kind of a toothpaste uh, taste to it. I should not have been worried. I should have had faith in the guys at Ghost, the, the flavor formulators. They did a very, very good job on here. Balance is, is fantastic. It's definitely more white chocolate than anything else. White chocolate with a little bit of mint aftertaste. For what this flavor is, I am really pleasantly surprised. You guys know I love minter and minter flavors, and there are very few minter flavors out there for protein products. So if you like white chocolate and peppermint together, as opposed to like me, who usually prefers a chocolate or dark chocolate and peppermint together, you want this in your life. I'm gonna give this one eight out of 10. Nice surprise there. Now, here's the safer flavor, Snickerdoodle. I expect this to taste like a cinnamon protein powder. So, let's see how she goes. Yep, it's about right. Tastes like most um, cinnamon bun flavor proteins I've had. I do like it. It's it's a, it's a mild Snickerdoodle flavor. I will say this though. Um, I want more cinnamon. I, I think it needs more cinnamon flavor to it. I think it's a little bland for Snickerdoodle. I think they could have gone a little bit harder on the cinnamon. Sure, I could always add more cinnamon in, but that's like, that's a little bit too much work for me. So, uh, this is the safe pick. If you're not adventurous, if you're a picky eating weirdo and you're scared off by, you know, a, a peppermint in your protein, you're probably gonna go with this one, but I think, in my opinion, it's the weaker of the two holiday flavors. I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10. Not bad, but um, just mm, kinda, kinda bland. Now, for those of you watching and are familiar with Ghost, you're probably gonna say, Ghost is too expensive. And I guess if you're somebody who does not care about what your protein powder tastes like, that may be true, but there are some people out there who, who their, their stomachs turn at the very thought of drinking uh, protein shakes and that's where ghost it, that's that's really ghost target demographic here they make great tasting protein shakes now keep in mind if you're not going to get confused with the milkshake all right i'm not going to tell you that that's that would that's just crazy talk but if you're looking for i i really think that and i'm not affiliated with ghost in any way shape or form i think ghost makes the best tasting way in the game and uh i would definitely buy the White chocolate peppermint. Again, I'm sure I'd be I'm sure I'm gonna be peppermint it out in like a month, but uh, nevertheless, still really good flavor. If you're gonna pick up one of these, in Uncle Eric's opinion, I say go white chocolate peppermint bark. It's a little out there, it's a little adventurous, a little crazy, but hey, that's what the holidays are all about, right? Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.